Her name was Klaus. Hello. Uh, Klaus, for your uh, very expressive introduction with our panel. But uh, actually, that sort of reflects how anthropologists look at society and environment and the infrastructure in which it lives. My theme is what is a community of um, microion. Uh, this uh, term, community, uh, has come into our life quite recently, but uh, it's becoming more and more popular, and we are talking more and more about that. At the moment, when we have to go to a uh, micro you know, rayon to understand uh, what is the community, where it starts, where it ends, can we take some uh, representatives of this territory and we have the opinion of community in public discussions? Those opens are still, uh, those questions are still open. In that uh, research and study that was carried out in Purvciems that was mentioned by Plan, uh, Klaus, uh, I tried to understand the community of this uh, Purvciems district. And you know what? Uh, the, uh, the most understanding I got from stray cats in this district because stray cats, those who tend for them, uh, that actually united uh, those uh, inhabitants more than just living together in one territory. And that is what I'm going to talk about. Maybe you wonder why, but what I want to show in my presentation is uh, the fact is that uh, maybe this one small strange group in a, on a large scale um, can influence the social environment of this uh, of this micro rayon and that community is very diverse and uh, multifunctional. But before I start uh, talking more deeply about this group, I'll give you a short overview of my ethnography, um, if you don't mind. And uh, I'll try to read it right now and to get you interested. Uh, the group who tends for stray cats is very small. Brigitta is most active, and she says uh, there are actually eight people, but there are three uh, ladies daily doing that. All those three ladies are pensioners. Olga works uh, as a staircase keeper. Biruta is lecturer in high school. And Lucia was a doctor, and she's retired. Their day starts at 8 o'clock. Biruta's husband takes fresh fish from market. Biruta starts to prepare uh, feed uh, boxes for each um, meal time, approximately 50 portions are prepared. It takes quite a long time to clean the fish, to cut it, to place in boxes. A couple of hours are spent. Also, milk is uh, given. But during evening, there are more cats, actually. Birota says in each portion, there are three different uh, uh, products, uh, ground meat, fresh fish always, and other ingredients, tins, uh, dry feed, and so on. The six cats are special. They are privileged. They also they have special uh, ingredients. For example, a chicken uh, from previous uh, day. Privileged uh, portions are covered with uh, blue uh, covers. Uh, others have different covers. Why there are six special cats? Olga can't remember anymore. And Biruta also can't remember uh, that. Maybe. One was ill, that, that's why special feed was given to uh, eat, or something else. Fish 
heads are placed separately because some cats eat only fish heads. Uh, cats eat twice a day at 10 o'clock in the morning and at uh, 10 o'clock in the evening. This time is chosen with the purpose because then there are less people on streets. While Billy Ruta prepares those portions, Olga already is taking them out. So this is the first feeding point. In this place also seagulls uh, have their meal after cats have eaten. There are four feeding points in the road of 300, 400 meters. Uh, depending on the season, feeding points change. Uh, in April, when it was cooler, uh, cats were fed in cat uh, courtyards. Uh, they are quite near to each other, 40 to 50 meters. And that somehow uh, developed gradually, as Olga says. Initially, there was one hat, cat that was fed uh, close to the house, uh, but then there were more cats, and uh, that's why the, they created uh, more feeding points. Now there are uh, their own cats, not strangers. Uh, ladies know all the cats of each uh, feeding point. They are checking and controlling whether all cats are present. Uh, maybe some are giving birth, some are ill. Each cat has it, its own uh, name, and they can immediately uh, recognize them and even know their relatives, who is sister, who is brother, mother, father. Uh, some 20 minutes are spent spent in each uh, feeding point, and uh, approximately that takes uh, an hour for the whole. <clears throat> Slightly different are the days when they are sterilizing cats, and that is very important issue always discussed. And the most recognizable feature uh, for sterilized cats is uh, left ear, which is cut. And uh, for example, one cat was very, very fertile and she had uh, some three, uh, four, five times per year of having kittens. So in the long term, this tending for Cats sterilizing, which is also quite costly, uh, is uh, pay, uh, paying back in long term. So in one hand, uh, when we look at that, it seems that this is a close group of persons who are just having fun by feeding stray cats in Purovciems. At the same time, when we look closer at this group and their ac its activities, we see that they actually affects the environment of Purtiems in general and everyone in this community. There are a lot of effects, uh, but I want to show you the key ones or the most visible ones. Stray cats actually are a part of each micro rayons. If we talk about those districts uh, that historically were created during Soviet times, stray cats are usually considered to be a problem to uh, get rid of. And at that moment, when there are people who take care of them, this situation then somehow is most levered because when the cats are fed, uh, they uh, stop uh, migrating. They are not uh, uh, strolling from the one neighborhood to another neighborhood. They are not checking uh, garbage uh, bins and so on. Also, less diseases and infections are there because uh, these people are t attending for their health care as well. So in a poor of CMs, for some People, stray cats are the ones they use to fight uh, rats. Uh, 
That's why they have given their keys of their basements for those cat feeders uh, in order they, uh, in order to have the cats in the basement. Also, for for uh, cats, the existing infrastructure of the microrayon, internal and external, is adjusted, adopted. That infrastructure is a common infrastructure. If we look at the external infrastructure, uh, what it means? It means that twice a day cats are gathered together, so people have to take into consideration that, that the joint uh, space, common space, uh, is decreased because uh, some part of it is taken by cats. The cats have their own drinking places as well. And the same concerns internal infrastructure. Uh, the basements are adopted uh, for cats. There are places for sleeping. Ventilation uh, holes are uh, trusted in the way that cats may get in and out. And uh, such uh, changes in the common territory and infrastructure for the needs of cats in combination with a negative opinion uh, about stray cats in general make this clash of communities. So between those who uh, denote money uh, and give medicine for uh, treatment of cats uh, and give their basement keys uh, with those who uh, look at the cats as uh, just distributors of, of, of uh, diseases and um, infections. Nevertheless, uh, all these people with different opinions, they live there in Purtsiems. They consider themselves to be inhabitants of Purtsiems. So we are returning back to the question, what is a community of Purtsiems? And I found an answer that is like that, that it is very difficult to try one and find one homogeneous community in Purtsiems. At the same time, it's wrong to say there is no community in it. It exists there, but it consists of a lot of small micro communities. They can, over, they may overlap, but they uh, are, are also supplementing each other. But they are also separate. I analyzed just one of these communities in my example, but in Purvtsiems. As in all other uh, micro rayons, there are different communities, uh, street um, uh, sportsmen, uh, cat tenders, dog uh, owners, uh, garden owners, and uh, each of these communities is trying to adapt and adjust the environment and the infrastructure to its own needs. Therefore, it is very important to be aware of those communities, especially when you try to change the environment in which they live. Thank you for your attention. That's shortly all.